Hello, dear GMAT 41's channel members, subscribers, and viewers. You are welcome to the GMAT 41's YouTube channel. In this video, I would like us to quickly take a look at this problem in physics. All right? On the board here, you have this question. We are required to determine the magnitude of force in Coulomb's law when one of the charge is doubled. As we deal with this question, there is a certain format I would like us to approach this question. We shall approach this question by first establishing the parameters as mentioned in the question, and then we we'll also find out if there is any necessary conversion. If there is none, we'll simply just say none, all right? No conversion required. Anyway, looking at this, uh, I don't think there is any conversion that is necessary. And then we are going to come up with the formula required to solve this question, substitute, simplify the problem, and then get our answers. Is that okay? Now, the reason why I want to approach this question in this dimension is because of the source of this particular question. All right? You can see the source there showing on the screen. What is the magnitude of force in Coulomb's law when one of the charge is doubled? So, let us start by declaring our parameters. What and what do we have in this question? The first thing is to bring out the force, and then I am going to indicate question mark. Why? Because in this question, we are asked to find the magnitude of the force. So we don't know the magnitude, the value of the force. We have already been directed to the fact that this problem is Coulomb's law related. Yeah, under electrostatics, okay? Coulomb's law of electricity or electrostatics. Now, we were told from the question that one of the charge is doubled. All right, when dealing with Coulomb's law, there are two charges of interest. Is that okay, generally? Now, let me take one of the charge, Q1, to be Q1, all right? Let's call it Q1, one of the charge. And then uh, let us have Q2, and we are told that one of the charge is doubled. So permit me to double the value of this Q2. Is that okay? You know, to double something means you're going to have 2 times Q2. So one of this charge has been doubled, okay, twice. And uh, of course, we are asked to find the magnitude of the force, all right, which we're going to obtain from Coulomb's law. And so I have declared the parameters. I've declared the parameters, is that okay? Having declared the parameters, of course, take note that the unit of charge is Coulomb, all right, the unit of charge is Coulomb. Um, I don't need to convert anything. I don't need to convert anything, which means that Talking about conversion, all right, of any unit, there is no need of converting any unit. So you're going to say none. Is that okay? Having said this, the next thing we are going to look at is the formula we need to solve this problem. This question is Coulomb's law. And so we're going to recall the formula for Coulomb's law is F is equal to, that's the force between the two charges. Um, I'm going to use this. There is a constant of proportionality which is equal to 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught. That epsilon is permittivity of free space. And then this is going to be Q1 times Q2 and then divided by the square of the distance between the two charges. All right? Square of the distance between the two charges. For that, let me even indicate that uh, distance between the two charges is going to be equal to R. Now, please take note, like I said, that this k has uh, this value assigned to it, 1 over 4 permittivity of free space, 4 times pi, then times permittivity of free space. And now, uh, the value of this guy is 9 times 10 to the power of 9 newton um, square meter per square column. So, you want to take note of that. But, like I said, we really don't need it in this problem given. Now, this is our formula. The next thing we are going to do, you know, after you've got your formula, it is simply to substitute your values into the formula. Okay, so we move. The force is going to be equal to K. And then uh, Q1, I'll just fix in that Q1. We're going to multiply this by Q2, you know. I'm following this formula. And you know that one of the charges is doubled. We said, okay, let's assume that the second charge is the one that is doubled. 
You could also decide that the first guy should be double. That's uh, Q1 instead of Q2 being double. The choice is yours. All right, so uh, times Q2. Our Q2 is going to be 2 times Q2 this way. And then we shall divide by the square of the distance. So I have done the substitution. We're going to simplify this term and then see what we would get. Is that okay? This particular formula you're seeing here is the Coulomb's force. And so moving on, that's the magnitude of the force according to Coulomb's law. Moving on, if I work this further, I am going to get 2 times k, q1, q2, divided by r squared. Please take note that this is the new force we are trying to calculate under the condition that one of the charges is what? W. Now I'm going to do this. Let us use f. All right. I will advise that while someone is solving this, you know, you could indicate what Fn is. Let the magnitude of the force in Coulomb's law, when one of the charge is doubled, equals, then you write Fn. Where that Fn, like I said, should represent the new force. Reason being that this force you are seeing here is that force according to Coulomb's law straight. But by the time one of the charge is doubled, this will no longer be the exact value of the, of, of, of the force. Does that make sense, right? So moving on, we are going to have, but you are aware that F alone is equal to K, Q1, Q2, divided by R squared. Watch, this term you are seeing, this term is equal to Coulomb's force in Coulomb's law. So our new force, the magnitude of the new force, is now going to be Fn equal to 2 times the Coulomb's force. And this is the solution. The unit of this guy is going to be Newton. And what is the idea here? The point is, if Coulomb's force, all right, when you are dealing with Coulomb's law, the magnitude of the force between the two charges, if it is given as kq1, q2 over r squared, then, if one of the charge is doubled, simply the new force you are going to get will be twice the Coulomb's force. One may make this conclusion here as an answer. Therefore, the new force, or the magnitude of the new force, when one of the charge is doubled, is twice the Coulomb's force. That could be the final conclusion made as the answer. I hope you loved the analysis of this question here. I've told you the source of this question. And of course, if you're a student of UNICEF and uh, you are dealing with this, you know, that you need this, you could have this copied into your Physics 102 uh, assignment workbook. All right, friends, please do like and subscribe to my channel. Share this video lessons. Leave your comments. If you have any questions, feel free to make use of the comment box. And don't forget, for more benefits, you can become a channel member. Simply below this video lesson, you will see the join tab. Click that join tab. And then select whichever package that is convenient for you. Doing this will give you access to more exclusive benefits for our channel members. It's all right. I'll be seeing you in the next video lesson. Remember to always take your studies seriously.